Bumbo live in a box behind the house on the hill. Bumbo have trash, Bumbo have coin, life good. Bumbo happy. That till Bumbo hear voice from above. That nice coin you have there, Bumbo. That not you coin, Bumbo yell. Go away, brother. Suddenly, bad guy come and take coin. Then, oh. then, down hole. Bumbo think fast, grab trash, jump down hole after coin. Monster to I and stop Bumbo, but Bumbo smart. Bumbo use trash and fist, fight them. Nothing stop Bumbo. Bumbo, what? Coin. Oh my lord. That's quite the introduction. Hello, people. Welcome to my video. Steve, you're still here. Welcome to The Legend of Bumbo, the prequel to The Binding of Isaac. I have been waiting for this game for quite a while, along with everybody else. I know I'm a little late to record it, but I have my own reasons for this. I'm just going to go... Yeah. Oh, my apologies. This game was a little harder to record than I initially anticipated, but we're back and we're good. So, hit me with some bones, kid. I'll give you one move point. Use it to line up four bones and then uh, throw that bone my way. So you see, you line up the bones, we can chuck it at this good sir right here. Thanks, I needed that, but I need more. I'll give you two more, I'll give you two move points this time, but I want you to line up five teeth and throw them straight into my kisser. Got it. No issues were warranted on th this day. Wow, that packed a punch. Teeth and bones both hurt bad when thrown. And the more tiles you match up, the more impact they make. Experiment with tile combos. Just, uh, now just bust me open and I'll give you a prize. No problem. Bumbo make that. For those of you who don't know, Bumbo was a, he's an item in the game, The Binding of Isaac. Uh, I think he's Afterbirth. He might be Rebirth, but I actually, he might be Afterbirth Plus, but I, I really don't think so. Uh, hey again, now it's time for me to hit you. I'm gonna hit you. Whatever you do, don't match four burger tiles and gum me up. I'm gonna match that. Oh, like this. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even think about that, honestly. You gummed up the works there, didn't you? Boogers only stop one action by an enemy, so be careful. Here, come again. Got it. Excuse me. There we go. Oh, we've made a poop. Oof, I just punched a darn poop. How'd you know to do that? Oh yeah, poops can shield you from one single attack, uh, from one single enemy attack. But you know that already. Now let's finish me off and I'll give you a little treat. We've matched some P. P gave us uh, a move up here, as you can see. Now I'm just trying to figure out how exactly I want to line this up. Probably think I just want to do something simple, I think. Hit him with a bone. I don't think there's an easier way to do this. Then we're gonna have to get hit. It's fine though. Now he's dusted. I believe is the proper vocabulary, proper or proper proper vernacular. Fuck me. Yep, me again. Wow, I really gave you a run for your money, didn't there, didn't I? You should probably heal up a bit. Check this out. Parts are a lot less common than other tiles, so don't get used to healing so easily. Okay, it's time to get crazy now. See, uh, see, see, each tile you match actually gives you a specific colored mana you can use to cast spells. Crazy, huh? Here, take this. That spell takes two bone mana, or takes bone mana to use. So just match some bones, and when it lights up, click on it and knock my face off. No problem. Oh, did I match? Oh, because it was five instead of four. I got it. Bumble smash. Beautiful. I think you're ready for a real battle, dude. Before uh, you go, let me give you a few tips. You can visit the casino after each boss, so save those coins. Bosses usually have more than one action a turn, so be careful. Find enemies directly above enemies always. I, I couldn't read that. Bumbo want coin. The legend of Bumbo. We're ready, baby. Woo! 
Woo! All right, let's get into our first ever Bumble run here. Choose your Bumbo. The lower his health, the harder he hit to Bumbo the Brave. The chapter one was Bumbo the Brave doing a lot of Bumbo the Nimble. The chapter two was Bumbo the Nimble doing a lot of Bumbo the Stout. Chapter three, Bumbo the Stout doing a lot of Bumbo the Weird. Be, uh, complete the game to get Bumbo the Dead. Uh, beat the game twice with all characters to get Bumbo the Empty. So we're just here signing off with Bumbo the Brave. Looks like he has three health, three attack, two speed, one luck, and one puzzle piece. I'm excited. I've... I've been waiting. Also, I did not read the name of this chapter. I'm just gonna move more than once, so be prepared. No worries. Thank you. Thank you for the warning, honestly. It's a good indication of things to come. Alright, so let's... We have Bumbo Smash, which is that fist we use in this tutorial, and we have Reroll the Puzzle Board, which costs two tooth mana. So first things first, this is a free move. But it also it adds more to the deck or to the board which we could use for very uh good plays so i'm thinking probably want to do something like this right now this is one damage i think from based on this indicator probably just shoot the guy in the middle and by shooting i mean throw a bone at him oh spell bumble smash three damage whack that guy we're going in all right, now I'm trying to see, is there any way we can... Oh, right here. I'm blind. But not really, because I did see it. Oh, if I missed that, then I would have been blind. So we could reroll the puzzle board. But we have a good tooth setup, which will do more tooth damage. Or we maybe can throw two teeth next turn. So I'm going to wait to reroll the puzzle board. Because a tooth mana will not go away in between actions. Or in, in between turns, I should say. So this is going to do more damage. Yeah, this is three damage instead of the usual one. So you don't actually get to throw two. Uh, I think he's dead next turn, so if we roll the puzzle board, maybe we can get something beautiful. Because I don't, I, we do not retain mana in between uh, combats. So you only have one HP, so I, it doesn't really matter what we do. You're dead. Yeah. Boom. We've gained coin. We have three cents. All right. We're going to grab Smoke Machine, 50% chance to dodge next attacks. Mirror Mirror flips a row of tiles. Huh. I'm intrigued. 50% to st chance to dodge or a guaranteed thing here. I didn't see what other type of mana they'd use, but now we have a use for uh, poop mana, which is great. I'm just trying to see if there's anything uh, in my immediate... We have, we have boogers immediately, actually. So we can grab some boogers. We can gum up an enemy. Yeah, so what, this game, you always hit the flying enemy first. If they're in the same... Uh, you know, this... Uh, if they're in the same column. I was thinking of the right word there. I have seen a little bit of this game. I'm not going in this completely blind, full disclosure. But blind enough to where I, I don't exactly know what every enemy... Because enemies, you know, sometimes they can do stuff, something special, just like in the Binding of Isaac. And I'm not quite sure what that is yet. Or I haven't seen anywhere close to all the items in the game either. Um, I don't really see any good moves. To be honest with you. I'm looking. I'm trying to see if there's any uh, tooth or bone plays but i don't believe that there is probably just set this up so the exclamation mark means that these guys are going to attack this turn unless i either a kill them b put up a poop shield so they hit that instead of me or c hit them with the booger so then it just cancels their move their their action this turn they might not be attacking. They might give buffs to other enemies or debuff me. I'm, I'm not quite sure really how this works yet. But I hopefully will get there soon. I'm still just examining. This is a free action. But it also, you know, adds more, maybe more useful tiles to our board. Nothing really that helpful to be uh, frank. We could just add up some teeth, but... 
Yeah, okay. One damage. So clear one dude. Can reroll the puzzle board. Maybe it rerolls into something helpful. No. I'll reroll it again. Oh, that sucks. We got hit for half a heart. It's fine. Uh, bone. Hold on. Sure. Let's do it like that. Uh, I don't think it really matters. Probably just kill you. That's, you had a flying guy above you. I'm dumb. I see. Let's set up, let's set up a poop shield then. Uh, you can no longer attack me. We can flip a row of tiles. Actually, yes. And then this gives us a bone. We kill you and this guy's gonna hit the poop shield. And all of a sudden, everything's looking up, baby. We got also Bumbo Smash. Kill someone. We flip another row. Is that helpful for us? Not that I can see, so I'm just gonna end my turn. This game has a beautiful aesthetic with the cardboard. So I don't mind doing two moves, because this guy... That is... That is unfortunate. Um... Well, I, I guess it'll still take two moves, so it's not really unfortunate. Forget everything I just said. Yeah, I don't really mind doing this, spending two turns and just ending my turn like this to kill him, because he's not attacking this turn, so I can take a turn to get rid of this guy. No problem. We could reshuffle, we could flip a row. Perhaps try to kill him this turn, but it's fine, like, he's not gonna do anything. So now we can just do this, do that. Kill him. And now we're moving on to the next room. Beautiful. Actually lovely. So we have more poops, more flies. This fly has like a shield or like underwear on him. I don't... I don't understand. But I'm willing to learn. It's all the teacher ever asked for you. Is that you're willing probably kill some of these flies first in case these poops uh, decide to attack soon. Bumbo smash. Mana drain. He took away my bone mana. That's kind of a jerk move. Tell you what. Though. Booger you. Because we can't booger this guy because it will target the fly first. And the fly's not doing anything uh, this turn anyway. Is there anything else we can do? Or am I going to get hit again? I really would rather not get hit again. But I don't... Oh, free move. If a bone falls there, we are golden. No, we're not because I am the biggest fool. I'm going to get hit. Uh, luck. Luck. Alright, well, luck is not on my side. I only have a luck set of one, so it's understandable. When did I gain more puzzle? I thought I only started with one puzzle. We have two guys attacking this turn. It's kind of... I need something with booger mana. My lack of booger mana is really screwing me over. We do this, do that. We just also just kill one of them, which I think is the better option. We're going to get hit again. I'm taking a lot of damage. Give me, make me lucky. Yo, Bumbo, make that. Yes, Bumbo. You absolute beauty of an individual. I, yeah, you know, this is fine. Let's just not waste my time breaking my brain. This is a free action. Always a good thing. Maybe. Maybe not always, but it's, usually it'll be a good thing. Uh, I find your lack of bones disturbing. I'm trying to see if there's any way I can do this in two turns. I can move this over. That becomes a three beast. But then there's no bone up here. I could flip a row, though. Flip a row. One, two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check this out. Because that doesn't take an action. Or it doesn't take a move. Yep, now you're dead. Why is that doing two damage now? 
Bumbo Smash. I didn't even realize. Boom. Uh, converter. Gain brown mana. We're not really using brown mana except for flipping tiles. A copy spell at random. I think I'd rather use this. Bumbo versus the Peeper. His eyes are eternal. Is this how Peep used to look? Let's see what this does. Pick a row to flip? Okay. So we'll just it'd use one of our random spells up here, I suppose. This is like an active item in, uh, in Isaac. So I assume that every, every other room that we clear, we're going to get another charge. That's my assumption, anyway. Flip. I don't really want to flip. Can I cancel? If I cancel, that's going to undo it. You don't get to charge back. Okay, well. I, <laughs> it's a learning process, I suppose. Let's just hit you. His eyes aren't doing anything this turn, so. We could reshuffle the board, but I see the bone play for next turn, so I kind of like that. He's going to hit me, but his eyeballs are in the way. Okay. I like that more. Resisted. Can Bumble smash? I could also... Bumble smash, move that out of the way. Booger him. Gum him up. He's not going to do anything. Free turn, but then I can't booger. So I think I like this. Despite what you may think, as this is doing more damage than anything on the board can do. But this way, I'm not going to take any damage this turn, I believe. Although he has three moves a turn, so this is this only comes up one of his actions? Now I'm slightly worried. Okay, no longer need to be worried, I suppose. That eyeball's going to hit me this turn, but so is he. Is there anything I can do? Can I make a... I cannot make a poop shield. So move this over one. Free turn. I'm just thinking. Alright, check this out. Free turn and a poop shield. We poop shield here. The eyeball's not going to hit me now. We made it a wild card. I don't know how that happened. Now check this out. We get a poop shield. We get Bum Bum make that poop shield here now. He can't hit me, but we get a hit back. Now that's what I call a clap back. We can flip. We flip this. Is this the middle? This is the middle. Let's flip that. That comes over here. No matches. I don't see anything worth flipping. To be honest, so I kind of just want to end my turn before my brain melts. No, this eyeball's attacking. Kind of blows. Do this. Free move. I don't know why I thought there'd be a tooth down there. I feel kind of dumb now. Another free move. If a tooth falls down here, or if a. Wait. Where my tooth? Oh, I moved the tooth. That's right. I'm dumb. Tell you what. Poop shield. Now I don't have to worry about the eyeball. Now I can just focus on dealing some raw damage. I like, I like setting up for next turn like this. I could flip. But flipping isn't really going to help me. Right now. I don't believe and might, and I might just be blind, which is the most likely scenario. He's going to attack me, but if I can save this, then he's not really going to have a chance. How's this? That's good. That's exactly what I would like. Bone moves him out of the way, but then I can sticky him. Phrasing, I know. But now he's not going to really do anything. And even if he did, I guess I had the poop there, so it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, Bumble Smash, though. Good damage. I'll get in my turn. I got a Bone Play for next turn. I don't like how they're both doing stuff. 
I would like to just kill you, if at all possible. If I hit you, do you think that will cancel his attack? Or do you think it will just move him to another row where he attacks me anyway? I'm going to take my chances and say that it's not going to cancel his attack, so I'm going to try and do something a little bit more practical here. If I flip that, then this becomes the empty tile, which means the booger still will take two turns to get there. But it'll be a nice booger. He gets three moves, so is he going to shoot me three times? Because I really do not want him to shoot me three times. See, if I do this, that comes down there. Yeah, you know, I don't really mind this. Hit him. Wait, now I have both. Oh, wait, the eyeball was in the way. I'm dumb. I didn't. Ah. Oh. Yeah, forget everything I just did. I'm actually just a fool. A bumble smashed you, nonetheless. You have three HP remaining. This, uh. He's just out of lethal territory. Could flip a row. Perhaps could be a little useful. I'm not seeing any plays though. But also my brain is the size of one of these eyeballs. So it doesn't really surprise me that I don't see a nice play here. I could flip. Let's re-roll the puzzle board actually. We haven't done that in a while. Maybe we could reroll into flip potential. If this poop was like right here, it would be perfect flip territory. You know what? We have a move. Bumble, make that. We don't have to worry about this eyeball anymore. If we flip. Thinking out loud. Thinking out loud. Everything's like a one away from where it needs to be. But I do see a tooth play next turn, so I'm at. I'm just gonna end my turn now. So he only attacked once, despite having three moves to turn. So I'm a little confused. Hold on. This is, yeah. I was gonna tooth there, but that tooth only does, what, two damage? Two damage tooth can't lethal you this turn. Because that's not bone mana. Let's reroll. There's no reason not to reroll. We have a lot of tooth. Or a lot of teeth. A lot of tooth mana? A lot of teeth mana? I'm not really sure how that would work, actually. I clicked, but nothing dragged. Okay. I know I just said not to do this, but I'm gonna do this. I have no shame, either. We have only one move left. Flipping the board, not really helpful. Sadly. Unless it is and I'm blind. Flip the board, you can just stay there. Let's reroll the board then. Yeah, yeah, check this out. Flip. And then we use our one move on the bone. And we lethal the boss, which I believe will end the combat despite the eyeball attacking. Absolutely true. Thank you for the money. And with him final bit of punch, Bumbo smashed big bad guy into bits. He's dancing on him, it's the Joker dance. But Bumbo noticed a thing. Weird box in back of room. What in there, Bumbo stink? Spider with long butt? Big long bone? Bee with magic powers? Wait, I can say it. a mystery. I can say With no thinking, Bumbo bashed That's open cold. scary box. What? Dude, is that Kane? Another Bumbo? What a twist! Another Bumbo. Bumbo the nimble. Is it like Kane? Does he have a large lack or a large luck stat? We've also unlocked the Forlorn Hollow. This is extremely loud. My ears are kind of bleeding right now. But it's fine because I have noise control. 
on my headphones. I let this play because these people deserve their credit. Although, if this is anything like Isaac, I'm probably going to skip this for every subsequent run. The first episode here is going to be a little short. Um, because this is, you know, we haven't unlocked all the floors yet. Purple enemies are resistant to puzzle attacks. That's good to know. That's going to leave this episode here. Next time, we're going to play as Bumble the Nimble and see what his whole shtick is. I hope you enjoyed and goodbye.